Right, welcome back to a quick video today. Just seen this one uh, pop up on my news feed. A uh, new little device by Hyperkin. It's the Hyperkin Mega 95. Now, this is really intriguing. It's essentially a betterly designed Sega Nomad. As you can see here, you can put your Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis cartridges in the top and play them on the go. But what's different here is that this one also comes with a dock. So you can essentially play it as a Mega Drive slash Genesis on your TV. And as you can see there at the front, you can add your additional controllers, which I would imagine will be uh, the original ports for your Mega Drive. Um, not sure if you can add any additional pads, but I'm sure there's gonna be ways around it. Now, just looking at this picture, I think it looks absolutely stunning. I love it. Um, whether or not I'd actually buy one or not, that's going to be very price dependent. And also, I'm not sure how much use I would get out of it. Uh, I don't actively collect cartridges for the Mega Drive and the Genesis right now. I don't really have the room per se. But also, the entire library is really um, readily available in multiple ways. Not just emulation, but on various compilations that Sega have released over the years. Mini consoles, uh, you know, you can pretty much, Sega have basically hoard out their entire library. Most of the main titles get put on the compilations time and time again. But I can't lie, this this is really, really good. Um, it's got the six buttons there as well, which is essential. Uh, D-pad, from what I can see, it looks very much like the Mega Drive D-pad, um, which I personally you either love or hate. I was never a big fan of it. Uh, I didn't hate it. But yeah, Mega Drive control pads, um, some people swear by them. You know, not me personally, uh, I had a Nintendo and a Super NES growing up, I played my friend's Mega Drives and I always preferred the Super NES control pad, I almost thought that was perfection. Um, especially once you played a Mega Drive and then went back to that, it just was a very reassuring control pad. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's um, borrowed <coughs> from the original. I really like this, um, I'm very interested. I will be keeping an eye out um, to see what the price point is. It's gonna be very dependent on the price point on whether or not I look to pick up something like this. But in the meantime, what do you guys think about this? Do you think Hyperkin can pull off such a project? Because, you know, the Mega Drive, whilst it's really easy to emulate per se, um, it has got a history of having sound issues with the emulation. The Mega Drive is quite a complex, strangely enough, it's a complex system to emulate with the sound. Um, it's had issues a lot of times with various devices that have tried to emulate over the years when it comes to the sound, uh, especially on the cheaper side, but we won't go into that. So yeah, what are your thoughts on this? Will you pick one up? Um, is it just another Sega Nomad, but this is a better shell? Uh, but yeah, I think um, it's gonna be dependent, like I say, on the price point. Under 100 pounds, I could see myself getting involved. I could get on board this train. If it's over 100 pounds, um, I'll happily just watch some reviews on YouTube of uh, the crazy collectors out there that do pick it up. Um, in the meantime, like I say, let me know your thoughts. Will you play this? Will you buy it? Uh, do you even think it's worth the time of day? So, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of it. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Give me a like. If you like the content as well, please take the time. Click the subscribe button, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.